Okay, all right, hey guys, I'm back today. Uh, I'm gonna do another video uh, today. Um, we're gonna do it on reactor blocks again. Um, last week, I did a video uh, just kind of putting together sequences using reactor blocks, and uh, it was kind of ahead of anything I'd done with it, I guess, so far. I'd kind of had chimed into it in other videos too, um, more for like effects purposes. But I kind of want to like teach you how to put like, you know, a, a, a synth together, just a very basic, ordinary synth. Um, so, what we're going to do today is we'll take a look at analog and just kind of some of the components in it and then we'll basically put together uh, even a s simpler version of, of what analog is because we're not even going to use two oscillators to start. I think just one will be good just to kind of more understand the signal flow. We'll wind up using filter etc. But let's kind of go over this. So you have your analog and let's just kind of disregard the bottom part because it's basically just a replication of the same thing down here as you can see from the top. So first off, our MIDI note's going to come into the synth and it's going to hit our oscillator, which is basically going to start playing in tone depending on what we have selected. If you've used the synth before, you know what these mean. We're not going to go over you know, what types of waves these are, etc. And then once you hit the note um, in this one, it's going to go usually through the filter and then it's going to go out to the amp envelope. Um, the, or the amp, I'm sorry, not amp envelope. There is an envelope on the amp that you can shape the amp with, um, which we'll kind of go more into when we start building the synth. But that's kind of the basic three components right here because we're not going to look into LFOs or anything right now. We don't need to look into tuning or vibrato or anything because we're doing something simple. So we're going to take like these components and we're going to kind of piece them together in reactor blocks to get a very simple synth. So let's go ahead and open reactor blocks here. Um, we're going to go here, we're going to go to our library because we're in edit. Now if you go to reactor blocks and you have it on edit, it's going to go blocks new and it's going to open up with a few other components. The only thing, I kind of wind up always deleting everything and then I just leave the, it depends I guess sometimes I keep the sequencer if I'm doing sequences, but this is the utility so it's the note in that basically when I hit my key here, you can see the lights flashing. It's basically taking in the information of what key I'm playing on my keyboard. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into here. We're going to go into the bento box. This is like the, the kind of basic stuff that comes with it, which is basically everything that we need. So as we said before, we're going to need the oscillator. We're going to need a amp, which is basically our voltage controlled amplifier VCA. I'm going to need an envelope to control our VCA and how it opens and closes, like on most synths, you can do that. Um, we're also going to put a filter on this one, and we're also going to put another amp, uh, another uh, envelope generator on here so that we can control how the filter opens and closes as well. Because if you look at analog on here, if we go back, you can see that we can go to the amp, it has its own envelope to shape the way that the, the, it opens and closes to, to shape the sound. So, just to give an example, We'll go here. So, and then also your filter is going to have one too. So, if we start bringing our filter down, etc. So, basically, what we're doing is just adding, we're, that's why we're putting those on to the synth when we're building it. So, if we go ahead here, let's start kind of laying things out. And then make it. We'll make it more organized so you can see it. So this is going to be our first oscillator, or that's our amplifier there. Sorry. So I'm going to move the output here over here. I'm going to put our voltage-controlled amplifier right next to the output. I'm going to move our oscillator over here next to the note in, which is going to be intaking our information that we play on our keyboard. And then I'm going to also move our filter over here. And then I'm going to label this amp, uh, this envelope generator uh, the amp so that we know it's for the amp. And I'm going to name this one for the filter so we know it's for the filter that way. You know, because it gets confusing when you're on the other side. And it also when you have a lot of stuff going on, like this is really simple, but when you have a lot of stuff, it gets really, you don't know what's for what. So especially if you have like four, uh, you know, amp envelopes or uh, envelope generators. So 
basically right here you can see our filters with our filter our amp is with that and then I like to have my oscillators here we have our node in which is then gonna go to our output so first off let's start wiring things up we're gonna need to put an input into this from the node in into the pitch now this is gonna tell our oscillator what note we're playing otherwise it's just gonna play a tone it's not gonna play a note so if you look at this uh, we're on analog still which is a problem Okay, we're not hooked up yet, so it's not really going to get any sound. So let me just finish going over this and we'll, we'll explain things. We're going to need the gate here. So the gate is going to te like basically give this envelope and telling it that we're hitting the note. So we're going to plug the gate into both of these. And then we're going to take the output of the filter gate and put it into the, one of the mods, either A or B, it doesn't matter, into the, into the filter. We're going to do the same thing over here. We have our gate coming in from our note in into our envelope for the well, for the amplifier we're going to output that and we're going to go into mod a again on here so now what we're going to do is that when they when you plug them in they get active so you can actually click on them like that so we're going to go ahead and do so we're going to turn this up like that and then when we hit our note it's going to start turning this up but first we need to do it uh, we're not going to do it on the filter yet because we're going to kind of go because you can do different things obviously so we'll just leave the filter completely open and not modified yet and now we're going to take our output of our oscillator and put it into our filter and then our filter is going to go our output into our amplifier and then our amplifier is now going to have the signal that we're going to output into the out the main output that's going to go so you should be able to hear it now should let's see um can we not that's why there we go okay so you can see now um, if i turn this off like so that's what we had we have the envelope going into the voltage controlled amplifier which is controlling it so if i don't have that modifying it it doesn't turn up you have to physically do it but it's going to send a constant tone out it doesn't have an envelope telling it how to act now when I turn it up the envelope here we can turn up the release turn the sustain down you can kind of go more logarithmic with these so they have more of a they're not as linear so that's basically what's going on here so it's a very simple synth um, and now I didn't forget about going into the filter as well and then also as I said earlier this is gonna click on the key tracking otherwise it's just going to send out tones and you're just going to so that's going to put on key tracking so you can play like a, you know like a normal synth can um, so now from here why don't we go we have we can modify our cutoff we can really modify anything with, with these with now because you see all of them have an option but we're only going to do the cutoff so let's just go down and we want to try to create a pluck so let's turn this up So, um, I mean, that's kind of it for this, like there, as far as like a very simple synth goes. And I want to go over it one more time, and then if you want, we can go in just to make it a little more complicated, and we're going to add in one more oscillator just to make it more interesting. Um, and Because I, I don't want to go too deep on this first video. So what we have here, we have our node in, which is basically taking in our MIDI information from our keyboard. We're outputting out of the pitch into the oscillator, which is then taking in this information again, and it's going to start creating a tone, etc. That we're going to then output into the filter. We could have not put a filter on this and just gone directly into the amplifier, and we just wouldn't have a filter to shape anything with. That's the only difference. So, but we did put a filter on, so we had this output into our filter, which then we have the gate letting. Our, our envelope know that we're hitting notes which we're then outputting into the mods the mod the modifiers in the filter and when you do that you go ahead here and you can click on it which activate it activate activates it and you get these 
uh, you know, lines that you can turn up and down depending on how much you want to affect it. And you don't have to turn it up all the way. You can even do it over here too and like not, it won't turn up all the way then. So you can adjust those to taste as well um, and get creative with it because maybe you don't want to turn it up all the way and you might set it there. But the, you wouldn't really do it with, with the amplifier because it's just going to have a constant tone. Maybe you want that, who knows. Um, so anyways, back to this. You have the envelope now that is affecting this filter and then our filter is outputting to our amplifier which again also has a gate running into it and this gate is telling the envelope that we're getting a trigger and this gate uh, this this envelope is going to now shape by modifying the amplifier which then outputs to the main out um, so let's say what do you do if you want to add another oscillator that gets you have to add not only one more oscillator but one other component because you have to start blending them together. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to add another oscillator here, and then we also are going to need a mixer. So this one's called Mix Mix, and instead of outputting directly into this, I'm going to go ahead and output this one and this one into the mixer, and then the mixer is going to blend these together. It has four inputs, so you can actually put four of these on one, and then I'm going to put that and input into the filter. So now we have two, two oscillators that are now playing and being controlled. Let's see, what are we doing here? Uh, the mixer needs to, I'm gonna put the mixer here. So let me go ahead and turn these two up. And let's put one at 12, just so you can hear the difference. You can click it on and off like that. So you have like your coarse tuning and then your fine tuning here. This will turn up change the waveform etc then you've seen me do other stuff too which you could start doing fm synthesis which i'm not going to get into today we'll start we'll do that in a next in another video and we'll kind of get more complicated with it but that is the basic setup on how to do very simple synth um if you follow this and do it a bunch of times it's going to start like registering in your brain i would say in the beginning for me too like it, it you just you keep forgetting stuff and it can be a little complicated but the more you do it the better you get and the great thing and the powerful thing about this kind of software and like being able to do synthesis this way is that once you start getting into effects or the way you route things is that it's modular you can route things however you want you're not stuck with how the synth was set up so that's the cool about this i hope this video helped um also i'm gonna plug in my patreon again I'm still working on that i'm working on doing some like midi i'm starting to put like midi clips together with like harmonies and things like that i'd like to do some videos on putting harmony together and and as well as creating sequences using MIDI. So I'm probably going to put those out this week rather than presets. Uh, I've been working on them today and I'm going to keep working on them through the night and get them up. So, uh, so if you like it, subscribe to my Patreon. I hope this video helped. I hope there wasn't too much noise in the background either. I kind of hear noise over there. This microphone picks up a lot. So the only thing that's important is that you heard me and that you kind of got a better understanding of this. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, and uh, cool, Till next time, have fun.